Welcome to this video tutorial where we will install FreeBSD 13.0 in VirtualBox, which can then be used as a platform for testing and experimenting with network appliances. Although this video installs in VirtualBox, the same procedure can be followed for installing on a physical computer. Okay, this is going to be a very short tutorial of how to install FreeSB as a virtual machine under VirtualBox. So we're going to create a new machine. We're going to use FreeBSD 13.0 and this is actually going to end up being a virtual machine for Cacti server. I'm going to get 2 gig of memory, which is plenty for FreeBSD. And we need to create a virtual hard disk. I'm going to select the VMDK virtual machine disk and fix size. And I'll give it about 8 gig. OK, then we'll create. So in about 10 seconds, we'll have a virtual disk created. All right, so this FreeBSD 13 CACD is our virtual machine, and let's edit the settings. Um, the first thing I like to do is give it a description. So this is a Free BSD for Cacti virtual machine. Next, um, I'm going to give uh, four processors. <coughs> and um, eliminate the floppy. Um, put the optical second. Everything here is okay. Next for the display, let's crank the virtual video memory up. It's one monitor and we're going to use a virtual machine SVGA mode. Now under storage, we need to add our FreeBSD ISO. And under audio, we'll disable audio. Under networking, I'm going to use a bridged adapter, which will allow this machine to get an IP address automatically from this LAN network. Uh, serial ports, okay, USB, okay. Basically everything's okay, okay. Now we can start the machine. And now we'll boot the VM. This is the initial boot screen, which will count down. Counting down to one, zero, and then we'll boot the kernel and boot up from our ISO image. We found the disk and the CD. mounting and we'll run from and do an install and we'll continue with the key map the way it is and we'll give ourselves a host name and we're going to re remove all of the options optional components we're going to use auto UFS the entire disk, we'll use the MBR, finish, commit. And basically, we just need the manifest, the base, and the kernel. And we'll do a checksum of those and then extract. And that will finish the installation.
and typically on a on real hardware a modern computer this flies by very quickly especially if the image is written onto a USB flash drive USB 3.0 and booted installation takes only a couple of minutes Okay, after the base system is installed, the kernel is is much quicker. And there it goes. Okay, we're going to put in a password for the root user. Enter it twice. We'll configure the uh, network interface. We're going to use uh, DHCP. And we won't configure any IPv6. We set the time zone. So we're going to go to Asia and Taiwan. And we'll skip the time and date. Uh, we're going to add the NTP date and NTP daemon and remove the dump device and no extra options we like to add a user i'll add myself and i need to add myself also to the group wheel w-h-e-e-l and enter my password and re-enter it and say yes and for another user no and we're going to exit. We don't need to do any extra editing and we'll reboot. It's the initial boot, so it's going to create the SSH private and public keys. It's also going to get an IP address from DHCP server. There we go. Now we can log in with root. password and to shut down well let's check the networking okay network is working so let's shut this down we use the shutdown dash p now command And that's it. We now have FreeBSD installed in a virtual virtual box.